Hey guys, and thank you for tuning in here to another video on the channel. We're here at the Dignity Health St. Rose Dominican Hospitals right now. Yes, we are doing again the series of the hospitals. We're gonna give it another touch now that we have a uh, dish wireless with band N71. Since we had a lot of issues with T-Mobile with the N71 at the hospitals, as you guys remember my series I did before. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna sit here and we're gonna test T-Mobile and we're gonna test Dish Wireless aka Boost Infinite. We're gonna see which provider is gonna give us here uh, better uh, better access to the network and stuff like that. See if it's screwing up. We're starting off with T-Mobile 27 ping 6 jitter. Let's see if they did fix that issue with the Nope, as you see, we are still not getting no N71 from T-Mobile here at the hospital. So 113 on the down, even though we have a 5G logo on there. 113 down. And 31.7 on the upload. And then on DISH, we are connected to N71 with the 107 RSRP. All right, let's test this. Let's see what, why does DISH have service in here with N71 versus T-Mobile that doesn't. All right, let me just change the server real quick because I already know how these servers are. They're pretty picky with DISH still. So let's see here. Ooh, so it's taken a while for it to to speed test. All right, now let's put it, let's airplane mode it. Let's give it a benefit of the doubt here real quick. Remember they are on standalone N71 with N66 as the carrier aggregation band. So, okay. Now let's see if we can get a speed test out of DISH. Okay, 63 ping 12 jitter and it is working inside the hospital which is connected to dish's standalone native network negative one signar it's a little bit bad but we are connected to n71 here at the hospital with the 17.8 on the down we are in the cafeteria area right now here and 0.60 on the upload now let's see if maybe selecting another server will give them the benefit of the doubt. Okay, 81 ping 22 jitter. As you know, DISH does work on the upper 600 megahertz range versus T-Mobile that's in the mid to lower. 600 megahertz range, so 22.5 on the down. And 0.74 on the upload, guys. This will show right here. Let's do another test on T-Mobile. And then let me pull up the, the band select real quick. Once again. Okay, band 215 band 420 band 210 as you can see no n71 but we are still showing that 5g look i mean the speeds are good don't get me wrong but this shows you right here that we are still having the hospital issues with t-mobile and we're gonna go to another hospital after this and we're gonna see if it's maybe just this hospital but i doubt it because the hospital here is located on the corner of st rose and eastern and across the street at the mcdonald's parking lot there's a t-mobile tower all right, guys, let's go to the next location. 128 down, 15.3 up. Let's go to the next location. We'll be right back. Hey, guys, we are here at another hospital. This is uh, San Rose San Martin campus here in Southwest Vegas on Buffalo and Warren Springs. All right. So we're basically doing the same hospitals as we did back in the run for last year for T-Mobile. All right, this is on the Project Genesis dish phone. And as you can see here, Eight, it's connected to AT&T to an IDAS system inside the hospital. So what I'm thinking is here, band N71 for DISH 
is probably in close proximity to the hospital's uh, interface that interferes because if you remember correctly guys we had the problem with the end with the 600 megahertz being close to the hospital equipment bands depending and, and the way it's licensed it's weird i can literally go down the street and be licensed on let's say 684 megahertz to 691 megahertz but here it's like 650 megahertz to 661 and that can be that range where the hospital uses so now they're not allowed to broadcast to turn up the power to be able to broadcast that high of a signal to reach in the hospital but other than that we're going to speed test this because regardless this is coverage so let's speed test it okay so since it's roaming 159 ping one jitter Okay, we're looking at 181 on the down. For some odd reason, we get better uploads on dish roaming on AT&T than native AT&T phone. Weird, right? And 50 on the upload. Now, I'm gonna pull out the T-Mobile phone and we're gonna see what's going on with the N71 situation here. Is it close? Is it different? Is it broadcasting? In a different frequency, must test it. So we're looking at 30 ping five jitter, and this is what it's broadcasting at right now. Now we can check the spectrum here and see if if T-Mobile is connecting. And of course, it's not connecting to N71 here at the hospital, so it's band 215 megahertz, band 420 megahertz, and that's all she wrote in here but still we're getting decent speed. So we're getting a 56.5 on the down. And a 25 on the upload. So what we're gonna say is we got one win for Dish at the Henderson Hospital, one lose for Dish here and two L's for T-Mobile so far. So, Let's go to the next hospital, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're out of the hospital. As I got to the parking lot here to this side, look, we connected to N71. So that shows you that the power is turned down on this spectrum. So they have it turned down enough to where at the hospital, as you can see the sign are, it's really bad. You know, it gets better the more I start walking because the tower side is that way. So the more I start walking that way, the better it starts to get. But this shows you right here, guys, that the that the situation is still going on with the 71. Even though, like we did this video, I think it was sometime last year. You know, so let's see here. Let me pull out the dish phone real quick. Let me see what's going on with dish. All right, I rebooted the phone real quick just to see what's going on. So it's connected still on AT&T. All right, let me see if I can force it to native. Maybe it's just because the, the DAS is so strong. Let's just, I'm just gonna cover my P's and Q's. So let's see here while it searches for a network. So we gotta cover all these bases. Come on, come on, find it. So here, let me try again. Nope, I do not see anywhere here where it says 313, 340. So, that means that they re this really had to turn theirs down because it might in this area it might be 
really close to the block where it interferes with the hospital. Which, like I said, it could literally be right across the street there could be a different megahertz block than here, which is stupid how it's done by the FCC. But, you know, what do you expect from the FCC? A bag of rocks. All right, let me go to the next hospital, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, we're back here with another video. We're going to be speed testing. We're here at Centennial Hills Hospital in the northwest side of Vegas with a 78 ping, six jitter. Oh, that's pretty weak. And it's connected on native N71. So 6.79 on the down. But it is connected to N71. And 2.43 on the upload. All right, we're gonna try speed testing on another server real quick. Okay, 40 ping two jitter. Sometimes these servers, cause it's all based off the cloud, you know, sometimes it just screws up, but we got N71 here in the hospital at this hospital for dish wireless. So 27.8 on the down, 40 ping, two jitter. The upload is more to desire. And 0.89 on the upload. All right, so now let's pull out T-Mobile. Let's see what T-Mobile is doing in this hospital. All right, let's speed test it. We got a 5G icon, 27 ping 6 jitter. So we'll let it test. Speeds are looking good. Well, let's see here. Okay, we got band two, 15 megahertz, band four, 20, and band two, 10. So same situation in the hospital inside. So 83.2 on the down. And 10.7 on the up. Remember, I disabled N41 on this. So, all right, so let's do one more test. And then this is gonna conclude the the N71 600 megahertz issues pertaining hospitals. And yes, unfortunately it does affect DISH 2. Okay, 71.4 on the down with a 30 ping 8 jitter. And 7.82 on the up. Now let's try to let's just try to make a call real quick. Let's see if the calls go through. Thank you for calling the Rio All Fleet Hotel and Casino for room reservation. Okay, so the call goes through. All right, now let's pull out dish. We got to make sure we got we got to make sure we can call. And we're in here. Gotta make sure we can call. Okay. Thank you for calling the Rio All Fleet Hotel and Casino. For room okay. Well, there you guys go. So, yeah, this concludes this uh, hospital series between Dish Wireless N71 versus. T-Mobile's N71 situation and we're basically looking like the same. Now, let's just, uh, let, let's do something real quick before I end this video. And I also want to thank the channel members, the channel for making all this happen. I really appreciate y'all for the love and support. So what we're gonna do is as we're walking out of the hospital, so let me pull up to, let me see here. So let's walk out of here. All right, so let me pull up a uh, band select right here. OK, 
Okay, we are out. Okay. Let's see, do we pick it up? Oh, and there you go. As you saw right there, literally right when we walk out of the hospital, it starts to pick it up, which the RSRP is so low. That means the tower site has to be within the vicinity here, somewhere around here. But there you guys go. Now let's check the speeds while we're out of here. And then we'll check the speeds for dish. And then we, we'll close this video out. So 25 ping for jitter. I'm sorry if I sound a little muffled, guys. Uh, you got to wear, when you go in the hospital, you got to wear your muzzle. You know, so 75.4 on the down. And there you go. Now we got those uploads that everybody likes. All right. And 60.4 on the up. All right, now let's grab Mr. Dish Wireless, aka Boost Infinite. Infinite, yeah, infinite. All right, let's see here. Okay, 80 ping, 8 jitter. Okay, 30.7 on the down. And there you go, now we gotta upload. See, that N, that N71 issue in the hospital. I mean, but still, Dish had N71 though. So that's gonna be uh, an 11.8 on the up. So this gives the score, Dish two, one, two Ws, one L, T-Mobile Ls, bro. So, all L's. So, thank you guys for tuning in to this video. And yeah, we're going to catch you in the next one. And like I said, thank you to all the channel members for the love and support. Appreciate y'all. We will catch you in this next video. Have a great one. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to hit the like, share, and subscribe button. Make sure to hit the notification bell so you're always notified when we upload content. Have a great one. Peace.